before operating the machine, thoroughly read safety and operation information in the operator's manual. The row guidance system automatically controls machine steering to maintain row unit alignment with crop rows in the field. There are two primary guidance types available, manual row sense and auto track row sense. Manual row sense is base equipment and guides the machine using feedback from a unit mounted crop sensor. The optional auto track row sense allows machine guidance using both the crop sensor and GPS signal. The Row Sense Enable button is at the left front corner of the armrest module. Press this button to enable the Row Sense system, preparing it for engagement. The Row Guidance icon in the status bar will change from gray to yellow. The yellow button at the lower right of the multifunction lever engages Row Sense guidance. Pressing the button once engages manual row sense and audible alarm sounds to confirm guidance engagement and the status bar icon changes from yellow to green. Auto track row sense, if equipped, is engaged by pressing the multifunction lever button a second time. The status bar icon will change from green to orange. Subsequent presses of the button toggles between manual and auto track row sense guidance mode. The row sense offset adjust knob is located on the far right side of the armrest just to the rear of the header height response rate knob. This control acts like a mini steering wheel and is used to center the machine on the row when operating with row sense guidance engaged. Turning the knob counterclockwise shifts the machine to the left and turning the knob clockwise will shift the machine to the right. Additional components are required to operate auto track row sense and are listed in the row guidance section of the operator's manual. With these components installed, access the row sense settings menu in the GS3 by selecting menu, guidance, guidance settings, row sense settings. Press the system mode toggle button to enable auto track row sense mode. In addition, a guidance line must be set before auto track row sense will engage. Auto track settings may be adjusted through the auto track advanced settings menu. The row guidance section of the operator's manual includes setting ranges and suggested adjustment increments for each of these settings. A key rule is to make adjustments in small increments and only one adjustment at a time, so results can be accurately evaluated. If the system is too aggressive and makes quick, jerky responses, decrease values. If the setting is slow to respond and sluggish, increase settings. Calibration of some row sense components may be necessary after service adjustment or part replacement. Select the diagnostic and calibration button from the home page menu. The calibration button is displayed in the menu area or the active alarm screen. Press the calibrations button to display the calibration screen. Select the drop down box and scroll through the list. Select the desired row guidance steering calibration from the drop down list. Screens will first provide information as to when the calibration may be necessary and the first step or prerequisites for execution of the calibration process. Note that prior to calibration, any SSU trouble codes must be corrected and oil must be warmed by machine operation to a minimum oil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the enter button to initiate the calibration. Follow on-screen instructions to complete the calibration. Repeat these steps to calibrate other row guidance components. For more detailed information, refer to the operator's manual.